Okay, yes. <clears throat> World of YouTube. YouTube Nation. Um, I'm here today to do a video that I turned up a website of GoFundMe.com. Now, I thought my last video was good to go on this, but I guess it ain't. Uh, and anything, anyways, the video and the situations now have changed. Um, I am literally out of money. Uh, I got to literally look for work of uh, scrapping out of an S10 Blazer, which is very small. Um, I was supposed to get a, a loan uh, in 2012 from a person I know for two vehicles. He was only ending up to give me a loan for one vehicle, but um, I already had put down money on a truck, and I had it ready. And all I would have to do was like, get this money from this guy that was supposed to get it, give it to me, but he ended up not getting the amount of money he was supposed to get. I had to buy the other one to get around for appointments, but I thought um, my, this person would work with me. I mean, he did say that he would uh, take a payment, and, you know, so I figured I'm going to work out a deal, but it ended up turning out to now I'm going to court this month to try and get back $460 I put a down payment on. Truck's gone. He sells vehicles out of his house with his father all the time. They go to um, auctions and stuff, but now he, he's... The last message I've heard from him was that he lives in Florida now, and good luck with trying to get your money back. Um, you know, I had to wait until I get my taxes to even file a claim on him, because last year I had no money to do nothing. The money I did made went into, into you know, gas expenses. Um, to get my kids back and forth to school to try and look work up, but the work I found was very limited because, I, like I said, I'm working out of an S10 vehicle, and now this year is going to be even more horrifying because I did my taxes. All right, I'm thinking, dang, I'm going to get a truck, but the state decides to keep my state check and wanted some specific things. I sent them in what they wanted, then they wanted more, then they wanted more. And ended up coming out to being, you know, you got a $79 check coming to you. And the guy makes a joke of, at least you ain't paying a bill back. Ha, ha, ha. I think it's funny. Now I'm stuck with no money because the money I was supposed to get from my state check, I used the tr truck money I had saved to cover what the state check was to cover, you know, on bills, expenses, other stuff. And now I'm dead broke. This, I'm on a half a tank of gas right now. And I need to look in, you know, to look into some metal of any sort that I can find just to cash that in just to make ends meet now to get gas. If I don't, I'm screwed. And there's a lot of work out there right now. There was a lot of work out there last year, and I couldn't get a truck. Couldn't get my hands on a truck. Now this year, there's even more work out there I see, and I can't get it. I just did a seen a post on Craigslist that someone's got a hundred bike frames, it must be a shop, a hundred bike frames they need to get rid of, you know, they're junk, there's a bunch of metal out there, there's other things out there, gonna be doing skids, 48 by 40 skids, you get a buck 50 a piece, you know, there's all kinds of stuff I can be doing and I don't have a truck, you know, I'm not asking for help right now, I'm begging, if someone can please and the reason why I asked for a financial, uh, you know, $9,000 is because I want to pay the truck off. I want to get a truck with a plow, which there are trucks out there that are good-looking, road-worthy trucks that I need. I don't want to buy something junk that I have problems with right now. I need it to start immediately, and I want to pay off my insurance for the year. So I got to worry about that bill and everything. And, you know, these winters in New England here of my town have been brutal the past couple of years. And I ain't even have a truck to push snow with, you know. So I wish if I had a plow, I wouldn't be in this predicament. And it's like, damn, man, come on, Will. 
I'm on GoFundMe.com. Someone got donated for a wedding. A woman in Lemonster was in, in a bakery, and she needed money to move her bakery to a bigger place because, of course, she's expanding now, and that's where I got this from. She moved just a few weeks ago or three weeks ago. It was read in the newspaper. You know, bakery woman finally gets her move. I mean, there are some serious situations on that GoFundMe.com too, but I mean, I my heart is out for them people with lost limbs, burned houses, but you know, I'm going to be in a predicament where I'm going to probably be losing my kids to DCF and, and we all know how DCF right now is with kids and three of them dying within a six, seven month radius and that's where my kids are from, Fitchburg, all right? And I'm on the edge of going through this. I'm through. I'm going through DCF right now, with some problems and issues that have occurred due to having no money. You know, I had a blowout with my 11-year-old son when this all happened. DCF was called. That he hated my effing guts. That I'm a loser. I can't get a job to support. I can't get a job for us to do nothing. And just last night. I had a blowout with my son, and due to him getting a, he needs a new school bag. The school, we don't have this money to go out and buy one, but he did manage to get $5 from someone through school to um, buy this uh, case for his um, iPad he got for Christmas, and that he busted in the case he was, he's, you know, he's going to get money, he's saving up money to replace the thing now, and he saved up the money for the case, but now he don't want the case because the case don't fit. So I said, you know what, so why don't you take the case back because uh, five below, the store he got it from, do not, does not give cash back. They only give, you know, store credit. And I said, let's go get a bag there. And he had a huge fit. Don't want to get a bag. I don't want to do this. And he told me, you know what, he's going to go tell DCF that I don't care, that he's going to say I'm beating him up, and he's going to tell him that, you know, I'm going to make all this up and, and get you out of here. Get me out, because I suck, because I have no money to buy him things. And that's all, dude, because I ain't got a work truck. And, man, I, what is a father to do? I mean, I do what I can to make money. And I need a work truck, seriously, and here I am stuck in this predicament. Now my kid hates my guts. I mean, I, you probably don't even mean it. I don't let it go to my head, but it's the simple fact that, hey, I'm trying to go through this situation the best I can. I've never been in this type of predicament where I've been dead broke. And if someone can please, you know, I'm begging help, I mean... If there's a way I can do it, if someone does at least whatever, even five grand, thousand dollars, and I can do a payment plan back to you, I will do that. If the various people do this and help, I mean, I'll, I'll pay you back on a payment plan too. You know, even if it's a dollar a day or friggin' dollar a week or ten dollars a week to pay you back, I'm just begging, I'm begging. I need a truck and I can't get one. And I just learned yesterday that um, the person that gave me the loan for the other vehicle, um, he was going to loan me some more money, but now he cannot do it because his bank, his banking that he deals with says that he's got to stay at this one certain price range that he's got in his accounts and that he's, and he's low near the rate of, you know, closing out an account if he does this. So I can't even get a loan from him again. So here I am, stuck at the bottom of another year. It's going to be a rough year without that extra money I usually make. And, you know, I do my taxes. And like I said, my taxes were done last year, and now they kept my state check. That check affected my, my truck money check to buy a new truck. So now here I am with nothing. You know, I get ripped off in 2013, uh, from a, no, 2012, actually. It happened in 2012, and I waited a whole year for him to come out with something, nothing, no money back, no, not even another truck. You know, what? what is a man to do? I'm desperate for a work truck. 
and I know once I get a work truck, it's gonna go smooth. Everything will be fine, and till then, I'm there's chaos in my house. Kids are acting up because I can't really get them out to do stuff. You know, I'm begging if someone could please take a look in consideration of helping me. I mean, I definitely appreciate it, and I definitely will try and make something happen back to you. Um, other than that, that's all I can say. And I'm just, oh man, just I'm, I'm lucky. I'm, I'm surprised I'm not in a nut house, and I'm lucky I'm not in a nut house yet in a rubber room, just bouncing off and just letting everything go. Everything just go. Why, why, why care, right? You know, the state don't. The state cut our food stamps. You know, we're on food stamps because of this. You know, my my wife and kid get disability. I'm living off of their money, and I don't like that. It's very disappointing that I see myself like this. But what can you do in this friggin' godforsaken Deval Patrick era? And he and Mr., you know, President of the United States, you know, in Massachusetts, man, Deval Patrick funding all these friggin' illegal immigrants to get a driver's license. Oh, to go to school for free, and no one can even help me and donate me through the state or whatever to get a truck. You know, I pay my Uncle Sam, I pay my dues back to the system, and this is what I get. And I'm just, my kids are now all off the wall. They all got to go to a psychiatrist. This is not a way a family should be, but it's happening due to me not working. Honestly, this is the God's for honest truth. Me not working or leaving my kids to a nut house to moan so. And they're sitting there and they're telling me to my face they hate my guts because you can't support or make money. That's what I'm getting. So I'm hoping someone could look into this and see what they can do. Other than that, I I'm, I'm, don't know where I'm going from here. And I've been trying to get people to help me even just borrow a truck, but that don't even happen, so. Hey, um, this video, like I said, is due to this GoFundMe.com, holy something, and hopefully something can come out of this, uh, other than that, if you don't, no one cares, don't help, hey, thank you anyways for watching this video, have a nice day.